Microsoft's Sovereign Cloud has been announced and is coming soon in three key tiers. Want to find out what it's all about? Stay tuned. Microsoft's Sovereign Cloud was recently announced by Satya Nadella, and this is going to empower digital resilience with comprehensive sovereign solutions for productivity, security, and cloud. So you can watch the announcement on Microsoft's website here. You can see what Satya had to say about the three key offerings that are in scope for this announcement and you can also see some information on new European digital commitments as well. So what is it all about? What are the three key things that are in scope for this news? We have, first of all, sovereign public cloud to achieve digital sovereignty in existing European data centers where the data will stay in Europe under European law and control. This is really, really great news for heavily regulated organizations within Europe who have this requirement. It's something that has been needed for a long time. If you want to take that one step further, then also announced was Sovereign Private Cloud to deploy Microsoft validated hybrid or disconnected cloud at your location with trusted partner ecosystem support. So takes it a step further. If you want the control to be in your environment, in your data center, this is what Sovereign Private Cloud is gonna do for you. And the third part of the announcement was National Partner Clouds to meet sovereignty requirements with independently owned and operated sovereign clouds built for government requirements. So if we scroll down a little bit further here, we can get a little bit more detail in terms of what comes with these three offerings. So the first one that we see, we have Sovereign Public Cloud, and this comes with Sovereign Controls in the Public Cloud, Data Guardian, External Key Management, and Regulated Environment Management as well. So with Sovereign Controls in the Public Cloud, you can get advanced protection, data residency, local data control with advanced data residency in 365 and Azure Sovereign landing zones. Data Guardian brings enhanced operations and access to European Microsoft Cloud services that are controlled by European residents and tracked by Tampa Evident Logs. External key management, something hugely important. Bring and manage your own key stores on hardware security modules to gain an additional layer of encryption key control and protection. You'll notice that these are all things that are coming soon. They're not available just yet. And regulated environment management as well, coming soon. Configure, deploy, and monitor workloads in support of sovereign operations in a unified portal. Next, let's take a look at the sovereign private cloud options. In this section, we are talking about two key things, Azure Local, meet data residency and sovereignty requirements with a consistent management and developer experience. We can learn more about Azure Local here. Let's take a quick look at what it tells us about Azure Local. So what you can do here with Azure Local is operate infrastructure across distributed locations enabled by Azure Arc. Run those virtual VMs, containers, and select Azure services with Azure Local, a distributed infrastructure solution. So you can already get started with Azure Local right now. I'm sure you're well aware that it's been available for a while. So let's go back and take a look at uh, Microsoft 365 Local, which is a newer announcement. So Azure Local been around a while. M365 Local, it had to happen really, didn't it? This will meet national regulations and sovereignty requirements when running productivity workloads on Azure Local in on-premises or air-gapped environments. So really cool stuff coming soon. Let's see what it says if we click on it. And it takes you to the blog post where you can get all the information that was announced and a bit more detail of that. And then finally, national partner clouds. So what is this all about? Locally owned cloud for France, Discover Bleu, um, <laughs> hope I said that right, a cloud formed jointly by Orange and Capgemini, which delivers Microsoft services under local partner control and meets France's SecNum cloud standards. So we can learn more about that as well. Let's take a look, see what it tells us. 
European digital commitments in this uh, blog post here. Includes data center operations in 16 countries and digital resilience commitment. Really cool stuff. And then Germany. We've got locally owned cloud for Germany as well. Discover Delos Cloud, a subsidiary of SAP that delivers cloud services for Germany's public sector hosted and operated entirely in Germany. So this was always going to happen, wasn't it? And the blog post tells you a lot more in a bit more detail and you can watch Satya's video on YouTube as well, all about it and uh, get more about data guardian, external key management and regulated EU environment management also. So do take a look at all of these exciting announcements, which I think are a key step in the right direction for data sovereignty with Microsoft. So there you have it, sovereign public cloud, sovereign private cloud, national partner clouds in France and Germany. I'm sure we will find out so much more about these initiatives very soon. As you saw in the demo there, Everything is very, very much coming soon at the moment. There's very little that we can show you that I can see other than access to Azure Local, which has been around a while. So stay tuned. I will certainly share more with you as I see it become available and we can get a little bit of demo time with some of the products, hopefully, as more information emerges. So thank you as ever for watching the channel. Give me a like if you've enjoyed this video. Do leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these offerings and if you'll be interested in them. And I will see you on the next video very, very soon. Do take care, stay safe, travel well. Bye for now.